Hey internet, my name is Mark and I'm a senior at NYU studying computer science and minoring in game design. I also tend to code quite a bit in my free time from Unreal projects like my devlog you can find here on the channel or like Minecraft minigame plugins which I do for fun and have been doing for a few years now. I also type pretty fast and that's what a lot of videos on this channel are about and recently a friend of mine sent me a very fascinating link. Pretty much it takes typing tests and applies them to a programming environment. So if you can type at 180 words per minute in a normal typing environment, random words in English. Does that translate over to programming? Today we're going to talk about that. I'm going to show you what my experience is like and at the end I'm going to recap whether or not speed typing can actually help you code faster. I've always been a pretty big proponent of no speed typing doesn't help you code faster because of you know most of computer science you have to think about the algorithms and stuff but a lot of stuff does actually translate over and that's just what I'm going to go through today. Now on the note of speed typing I'm just going to show you what I can do. Now if you're not aware there's a whole community of speed typists out there. The fastest being able to type above 220 above 230 even. And I can type at around 160, 170. I'm um, not the fastest, obviously, but in the competition last year, I placed 59th and it was like an international well-known competition. So I'll take that as it is. My best recorded score is in the 181 range. And now that I'm remapping my fingers, I'm averaging around 150, 160 again, but I am hitting 170s pretty constantly. Anyway, let's just see how fast I can type to see what I'm capable of so we can see the drastic bruising of my ego when I jump into the speed typing for developers. Here we are on a website called monkeytype.com. Personally, my favorite type website. I'm using a membrane or chiclet keyboard. The only mechanical keyboard I have doesn't have arrow keys and stuff. So if I need to go back specifically, I'm kind of screwed there. We're going to do a quick 30 second test on monkey type. Then we're going to do a 10 fast fingers, one minute test because one minute is on like the, the main metric you should abide by. And then we'll see the drastic change. A nice 30 second test here. On the mark. Get set. Get ready. Here we go. One forty four, raw one eighty one. Okay, we'll do 10 fast fingers and I wanna do another monkey type test cause I definitely felt myself falter. I also got the word develop entirely wrong, which I feel is a little ironic here. Okay, I forgot this happened. This website actually lags when I'm recording with OBS. So we're gonna not do that. We're gonna go to a 60 second test on monkey type. <sighs> Perform some finger stretches, if you will. I find that this helps me sometimes, especially when my left wrist gets tired, but this isn't about speed typing. All right, 148, raw 186, that's kind of all right. I kind of want to do one more 30 second test. Okay, okay, that's good. I'll, you know what, we'll take it. <laughs> 162, 184, that's like one of my best as the moment I've been like remapping my fingers. So it's been a process. I went from 160 to 90 and back to 160 again, but we have some epic scores. Wow, I really dipped here, that's unfortunate. All right. Anyway, this is the main website. It's called speedtyper.dev. We can see that on my earlier score, my best score so far is 94 words per minute. I want to see if we can hit number one. If we hit play, the differences can immediately be seen. This dot config, not that difficult. It's a period. Those show up all the time in typing tests, but curly braces, colons, underscore, enters, not so much. Before we jump into that though, on the note of programming, I've spent most of my time in Java, C, and some web development languages. Something I touched on earlier in the video was that I'm a big proponent of speed typing doesn't really help you test fast. I've never had to type more than 60 words per minute, right? The professional type of speed is 65 words per minute because most of the time spent in computer science is thinking through algorithms and understanding what you're gonna write to solve problems. I've probably spent a collective 10 to 12 hours on the lab itself. I very much underestimated it. The first one was really easy, especially having just on this one. I ended up rewriting the first algorithm of three that we had to write like three times. Each rewrite kind of taught me something new. And man, have I learned something. I usually type line by line as I go. I'm like, okay, this variable does this, this does this, this function does this. Okay, what's this function called again? Scroll up, write it down, all that stuff. If I'm looking at pseudocode, I still have to translate it in my head to actual code before typing it out. However, speed typing can help your programming because you don't have to constantly look at the keyboard and hunt and peck all the time. I'll talk about that a bit more in just a minute, but let's go ahead and check this site out. Now, I'm not big, so I'm not worried about, you know, overrunning this person's traffic at all. Please don't cheat on the site if you are finding it for the first time through this video. Let's see how this goes. This dot config equals open brace. Don't, don't speak out loud, Mark. One on one. 
That was pretty short too. I have gotten some questions in comments about people looking to find websites with special characters. So I think that even if you're not a programmer, this could really help you with your typing speed in general, just because of how many things it throws at you. I can type these first things real quick, right? Function, create thunk. And then it just falls apart. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, I don't know why I thought I would need to use arrow keys, but that one was bad. <laughs> My keyboard's also missing the, the or key, so hopefully that doesn't come up too much. Oh, we were so good. That time I didn't look at my keyboard at all. There have been times where I'm looking at the keyboard simply because I don't remember where the equal sign is and it feels weird. It's just so different. They're not showing up normally in typing test. This looks pretty sick. I'm a really big fan of this. I could do this for so long because it, it adds an extra layer of challenge. I mean, I know like my accuracy or 92%, it's so bad. On the other times I was getting like 80%, I think the accuracy is not great itself, but this like, it just gives you a different sort of challenge. Whew. Oh, that was good. Uh, what's power mode? I have no idea what power mode is. Oh God, I don't like this. One of the biggest tips that I try to give people when you're doing a typing test, so if I go back to monkey type, is to read multiple words ahead. Here, I was looking at part high and old because the faster you read, the faster you have to catch up with yourself. And that's why I make so many errors right now is because the aim is ruin my accuracy, increase my speed, and eventually my accuracy can meet that speed. Accuracy was 87%. I mean, you can see all the errors that I make. Whew, but it's like, as soon as I hit the first curly brace or something, boom, everything just tanks. One thing I've noticed as well, and just kind of thinking about how I want to recap this video, Jesus. I'm just, I mean, I'm not the only one. Okay, so when it comes to speed typing and assisting in programming, this is a great example because in this case, I think it would be helpful. You type a for loop enough and you just tend to know what it is. Like you tend to know exactly what you're gonna write. For let i equals zero, i is less than variable dot length i plus plus, end parenthesis, open bracket, enter. In that regard to the things that you type over and over again, and especially for variable names, I think speed typing can be incredibly helpful. And the biggest thing about speed typing though, that I think carries over to anything else is touch typing. Touch typing is being able to type without looking at the keyboard and ideally using more than just, you know, two fingers. I have a whole video about that here you can check out. A lot of code is often refactoring or copy pasting, not just from Stack Overflow, but you know, going up to find a function name and copy pasting it instead of typing the whole thing out. So you have to remember it. Speed typing in general helps speed up the process of typing out those variable names if you do remember them. Also practicing on a site like this, which includes explicitly programming characters, I guess, curly braces, equal signs, semicolons, can make you type the more complicated things faster. But I would say that learning how to type with something like monkey type or key mash or type racer or nitro type, whatever you want, a whole other video on that on the best sites too. I would say learn to type properly if you are a programmer, because all in all, it will help you type faster. I will likely never need or never be able to code at a hundred and what is this? 50 words per minute. I'll likely never need it, but it's cool to think that I might be able to actually do it. <laughs> it just helps you get to know around the keyboard. The main reason that I'm so bad at this, and I'm sure many speed typers would be as well, is because of all the symbols that you never type on an average test. Curly braces, equal signs, semicolons, and greater than bracket, they never show up on speed typing tests. Even quotes from books like Type Racer, the only thing you'll see are quotes and maybe the occasional colon or semicolon. But yeah, that's about it for today. My friend sent me this this morning and I was like, I wanna make a video on this, so let's just do it. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Feel free to stick around and check out some other videos on typing I have or some school projects I've made in life for NYU student stuff and have done various coding projects on the channel. Thanks again for stopping by. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, comment. I really do love comments. I respond to pretty much every single one. But of course, have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome.